I seen Buddy Expose Sexy Red after he done took her down through there. Which that was lame as hell, but ain't no telling if they agreed to that. Because they could help Sexy Red image. Meaning, motherfuckers like, damn, she really do be fucking with real street niggas and hood niggas and drillers and trappers and shit like that. She don't want the puppet ass nigga. So you got that type of way of thinking. Then you got on his end. Now, the pros would be more females that want to fuck with him. Because he didn't fuck with Sexy Red. So that'll up his female, especially with the street bitches and the project holes and all that stuff. Now with the cons from the men and all that there, he'll get a lot of backlash and he can't control his excitement and that lame and that what females do and all that there. But he shouldn't even worry about that. It's all about the pros and the hoes. But if she didn't snap that there, he fucked up his situation with her. Because it ain't going to be nothing with her. You know what I'm saying? It'll make her shit go up. They'll talk about it. So she getting more traction and all that does she stand in the algorithm every type of way everything that she do how you gonna fuck with a little pound town while trying to chase clout when ain't nobody on your live man like that shit wouldn't even worth it man you couldn't even control your excitement what type of nigga is you man she at the height of her career or damn near right there because she keep rising and she's still willing to come to your house not need no room nothing Nothing too fancy. She lay in your bed. You ain't wash the sheets. Your weed ain't the best. And she'll still make time for you and her schedule. To give you some of that good pound town St. Louis. Coochie. And you want to pull your phone out. You put your manhood up and pulled your phone out. So you got your little two seconds of fame. It ain't gonna mean nothing. This shit right here will go away. But for you, you lost out, man. You could have saved that there for when y'all stop talking for good. You know what I'm saying? Now you may get a couple of thoughts off of it. Because they may still think you got some pound town juice on your manhood. Yeah, so they want to fill that down. So you may get a little couple of ratchet little joints. But you fucked up, man. You were supposed to just keep beating her. And making sure you stay in her top five. As far as like, nigga, she want to hit up when she back home. You stay in that top five. Keep your mouth shut. Let her do that. She already done turned you up when she posted the goddamn leg monitor. The ankle monitor. You ain't had to, she ain't had to do that. Ain't that you? Because uh, if she really agree, are you doing that right there? Why is you saying, I'm sorry, gang? I'm sorry, gang. Sure. But we in the cloud era. Now, city, I can't even call you no city boy because you recording. That's what we tell a whole not to do. So you on some city girl shit, man. You understand? But it be females like Sexy Red that's coming in the game. They really from their environment and they really like hood niggas and street niggas and steppers and rappers and hustlers and scammers and shit like that they'd rather be with them meaning sleep with them to get their rocks off than really fuck with the rich nigga they'll look at the rich nigga like security that's who they'll get pregnant by if they can get one which I'm pretty sure they could but they'll look at them like they lame you see what I'm saying so she could have been around Drake or Lil Yachty, motherfucker like that. Yeah, they could pull up in a Lamborghini or a Maybach truck. Yeah, they can buy at the bar or the restaurant or the mall, but they be lame. And when the female already having paper, she getting paper, a whole bunch of, she really wanna have fun more than get tricked on all the time. Sometimes she just wanna chill, go back to the environment. She wanna laugh. It's more exciting. The sex could be better in their eyes, cause I don't know. 
but she'll get around the uppity ass niggas and rich ass niggas and they popular and shit. She ain't really feeling all that. She look at them niggas like I say, lame. They ain't funny. They ain't exciting. They ain't about shit. They ain't own shit. They just got a pocket full of money and good credit. You know what I'm saying? With credit cards and shit. That won't max out. But they feel like, Six and Red feel like, bitch, I got 50 racks in my pocket right now. I ain't tripping about your money. I'm just trying to go to Pound Town and goddamn laugh, smoke good, chill, watch Tubi. I don't got to be in a mansion or the five star hotel. Shit, we're going right to the projects. No security. Or oh, security could be waiting outside, sitting in the car. You see what I'm saying? So, and then again, she already got niggas she probably was fucking with before the fame. So she had just hit them right back up. And it don't count for a body. And they already been fucking up. It don't count as a new body. So, yeah, man. Now, Buddy didn't got some exposure, but it can help him out in one way and hurt him in another way. Especially if he ain't got nothing to offer. He ain't no artist. He ain't funny. He ain't nothing. He's just a regular street nigga that step a little bit or will. They got cases and shit. Sexy Red can feel like that income monitor thing don't really take her through there. You know what I'm saying? Put her ass to sleep. That income monitor shit, man. That's what she can feel like. So that's what she want. That's what she gonna have. You understand that though? But the females like Tommy, you know, Tommy from Love and Hip Hop, Suki Hana, Sexy Red. Yeah, I wanna fuck with the real, like what they saying in their songs and shit. They really fuck with niggas who still buying bricks or who busting their gun, who got fear. Now you got the ones like Rennie Rucci and then the ones like Lotto, they all want street niggas too, but they want them niggas to have some motion as far as like rapping, you know what I'm saying? They can spend legit money. They want to get tricked on. They want the hood nigga, but they still want to get tricked on. Then you got the ones like Sexy Red, don't give a fuck about getting tricked on. She still wants some money, but she gonna understand what level you on too though. So she ain't gonna ask for no 20K pocketbook when she know you only playing with about 10 pounds. You see what I'm saying? So Sexy Red is a type of girl who don't only think about herself. That's what it's giving right there. Lotto, she wants you to spend that bag. She wanna buy, she wants you to buy that vet. She probably ain't pay for that. She probably ain't pay for the McLaren. She want the bag, but she still want you to be that stepper, that rapper, the hood nigga that from that environment, all that duh. And you doing your shit in the rap game. And then you got the Randy Bucci type niggas that want to fuck with niggas like that, but she'll take a lower scale of niggas. So a lot of will get the 21 Savage, and then Randy Bucci will get the niggas like, who she fuck with? The Fujianos, the, the new nigga she got black. Yeah, so there's different levels. And then you got the ones Same shit like Sweetie. She like nigga like that too, but Sweetie will go from hood nigga to actor or whatever. Whoever wanna spend that bag and, you know what I'm saying, hold a hand and shit like that. Nicki Minaj, same shit. Same shit. She ran through all them rappers, but the one she bound with is the hood nigga. All them rappers was hood niggas too, but I'm talking about that's really still in the environment that really think like a hood nigga, act like a hood nigga, money like a hood nigga. Face the cases like a hood nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the one she bond with. The one don't got no power in the industry. The one don't got no real legit money that she can control, but still get her rocks off. And it be good. You see what I'm saying? And her, I guess in her mind. With the city girls, ah, they too uppity now, man. They like to brag and flex too much. They ain't gonna do it. They ain't gonna do it, man. They like to brag. Y'all Miami, she want one of them. Like what she been fucking with, Diddy. The lower she'll go, if she in a dark space, she gotta be in a dark space. It's like a south side. So you gotta have that type of money right there, that south side money. But either way, you gonna be spending a lot of money. I say like, she'll do what you say in that bedroom though. Y'all Miami. Yeah, she do what you say, but you being a stepper, that's all you got is bodies and 
or you a scammer and you ain't trying to really spend a ticket because you're yeah, Miami I could tell she like to brag so when she talking to her girlfriends or other female celebrities she want to brag nigga spend a 50 piece in Gucci then another 10 in Versace another 15 in Louis shit like that and he gave me a 100 racks 60 racks bought me jewelry shit like that took me on this trip you know what I'm saying? Then she wanna talk about the wild shit she do to you. Yeah, I ate his ass on the boat. Yeah, he gave me a golden shower while we was looking over the water. Some crazy shit. Like she went all that, so she ain't gonna really fuck with no stuff. She acknowledge you. You see her in the club or something like that. You get close. You maybe hanging with Baby Drill or Twenty One Savage or something. You get close to her. She acknowledge you, but she ain't gonna. JT and them. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Maybe back in the getting out, but now. Nah. But it's a whole bunch on the wheel, though, so he ain't even got a trip on them. He ain't even got a trip on them. So, uh. And, you know, Miami, she gonna wanna show you off and shit. Like, like I say, it's all about bragging rights with them. Now, JT, she on the chill side more, so. She still want nice things and you to spend that bag and. But she more low key with it than your Miami. Your Miami gonna tell all the business. She gonna make other hoes wanna fuck you though. When she done with you or they wanna backstab her or something, she'll make other hoes cause she gonna brag on you. So that's that with your Miami and shit like that. Now Megan a style again, now that's a little different. Megan a little different now. Um, Megan gonna fuck with whoever she wanna fuck with. Like, you ain't really gotta be no street guy. You can be a trainer. Uh, a bodyguard, you never know, like, it's all about the vibes. Can you make her laugh? Can you make her happy? Can you give her ideas? Um, can you be around her at the right time? She get that look in her. She for rappers, like, you know, she like Baskin and Robin. She got like 31 different flavors. It ain't just street guys. They can have that little bit of background in them or something, you know what I'm saying? The aggressive part. But other than that, like, it ain't just, you gotta be a hood nigga, dreadhead, stepper. That ain't making the style. Nah, 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 nah. I could tell. But yeah, man, like. That pretty much it, man. Who else I forget? I Spice, I can't, I can't really judge. But you don't want no bitch like her, cause she boring. She just sit there and look at you crazy with the big ass eyes. Ain't really got no conversation. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you don't want that. But you know, she look good for you though when y'all go out and about. Take a lot of pictures and shit. She look good for the pictures and shit. If you care about pictures and the gram and shit like that, I spice your girl, but you don't want that. She probably the most boringest one out of all of them. Out of all the females that's in the game right now, I spice is probably the most boringest one. You fuck with Scar Lip, she gonna go on her past too much. You don't really wanna you wanna hear a whole bunch of sad stories and coming up hard and family doing the wrong and shit like that like especially if you get a high drunk you came over there she was going you may still get the goddamn the mouth and the goddamn top and all that I mean you may still get the mouth and the goddamn box but she gonna tell you about a thousand different lifetime stories man she can read a whole book to you she got a lot of pain so I don't know if you can you gonna need about two or three hundred packs cause you yeah, she gonna talk your head off that shit gonna wear off you took one for you came over there, that shit wore off. And she ain't even, she just talking about maybe her brother and somebody else in the family. She ain't even got to the mama and the daddy and everybody else. Like she ain't even got and then other people that she know that did her wrong. Like So if you got an ear, if you got an ear, god damn it. <laughs> Scar lip your girl, man. I ain't budget, man. Uh Lola Brooke. Lola Brooke may goddamn she go crazy for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, she'll turn up. I think Lola Brooke will turn up. She got a lot of energy and shit like that. So, Lola Brooke will turn up. Got to give her that. Uh, she can have a little attitude. She may be the bitch that'll talk crazy to you. Cuss you out. You know, y'all fall out. You know what I'm saying? A little short type chick with a mouth on her from up top. Oh, yeah. But, you know, when she ain't on that type of vibe, you know, she cool, though. 
Got a lot of good energy. Real playful. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you spend that bag on her. And you can get up on her. You just gotta, they gotta be your type. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, that's about it, man. I ain't finna talk about this shit too much long. You know, everything I'm saying, I don't know. I'm just goddamn talking, man. I don't know how them hoes is. I ain't been around none of them. I ain't been around nine damn bitch, man. So that's what it is, man. It ain't really hard to fuck with these celebrity hoes. They just gotta see you and be attracted to you and fuck with you. That's it. You can't get them because they don't see you and they ain't attracted to you. And you, and you don't catch their attention. That's all. So if you wanna fuck with a chick like Sexy Red or Sukihana or all these hoes that you see on IG, shit, just get on your purpose. Some purpose can be catching more bodies and putting that shit on. Some purpose can be trapping or flexing or businesses or whatever career or fame, whatever. You just gotta get on your shit. You understand? But all these hoes easy to hit to the ones that's hitting them. This shit ain't You ain't gotta lust over these hoes You ain't gotta do all that lusting You know like a picture that's it These hoes easy They just gotta dig the pimping That's all they did man Once they dig the pimping Ain't nobody tripping man But that's my take on that conversation man Hit that like button Hit that subscribe button Hit that notification bell You already know the IG The underscore gang Underscore spitter Cash out bio All that there man Go